Camera's rolling. Well, I'll drop in here and I'm gonna cut the whole slope first and then I'll haul ass out of it. I'm a little bit nuts. Probably I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie. Uh, I've got two plates, two bolts, and nine screws holding my leg together. Grew up in the middle of the forest. Uh, we had no friends around. I had no other people to interact with. So I always wandered around the bush by myself. And I've always, I guess, been a bit of an Indiana Jones explorer. It's exhilarating. It's fun. Uh, I love photography. And there's nothing more beautiful than taking some landscape photos as it's snowing out at sunrise on the top of a mountain at 6,000 feet. There's Something spiritual in the mountains. Uh, people have known it for thousands of years. They've always had the gods live in the mountains. And when you get to the top of that mountain, yeah, you feel like you're a god. You made it to the top of uh, Mount Olympus and you're, meet, you're shaking hands with Zeus and then ripping a powder line after that. You know, when I'm snowboarding down a mountain and all you can hear is each turn as you're doing it, you're whoosh, 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 and then you go off a jump and all of a sudden everything goes quiet. And then you land and you're back into it. And you just have those little moments of grace, of bliss, of weightlessness, that you're just floating through the air and not that you don't hear anything else, you don't see anything else, time slows down, and you're just there in the moment until you land in the snow again. The snow comes up, gives you a face shot, you're choking on snow, but you're smiling because you're choking, and then it melts, and you're not choking, and you're just going in the snow again, and you're in the air again. Backcountry would be an unexplored backyard in my eyes, but if you want to get the goods uh, and you want to get some fresh lines and go ride something that no one else has ever ridden before, uh, you got to get into the backcountry and go in for a few days. Uh, and once you're in there, you know, you don't want to come out. So if we have a few days off, we tend to set up that tent somewhere in the trees just below the alpine and go explore. I get satisfaction. I feel like I've accomplished something. If I get out there, climb a mountain, ride down it, well, I feel like I've done something with my day and I can go home and so I have stories to tell. Uh, I've got experiences that are making me a stronger, better person. Um, you get to really know yourself out there when you're you know, faced with the elements, faced with the cold. And if I'm riding through the trees or if I'm riding down a ski hill or if I'm on a mountain by myself, I see where I'm supposed to go. Uh, everything else gets a, you know, slightly shaded or a little bit darker and I can see this path that I'm supposed to snake through the trees or down this glacier and it's a, like a guiding force. I don't have to think about it. It's just become second nature for me and there is something about it. There's this sixth sense that I get when I'm snowboarding that I'm supposed to be there. I'm supposed to be doing this uh, and it's hella fun.